Hello Capricorn, welcome to your December love reading. Please only take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below, and if not, you can always check your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, share, and subscribe for future readings. So before we get started, thank you so much for being here, and thank you to my subscribers and members of the channel for all of your love and support. You know I love y'all cappy caps out there. And of course, you guys, if you want to dive into your own personal love story, you can always book a private reading with me. All of the details are listed in the description box below. And as most of you already know, I am doing my holiday sale, so all personal readings are 50% off, including emergency readings. So be sure to get on the list before it gets long, okay? So let's get into it. Remember, this is a general love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Crotch Watchers of. So please reverse roles however you see fit and only take what resonates with you. So we're starting out with these first two cards, okay? And uh, this is going to be the overall energy of the person that you are connecting with. So, okay, so first of all, I love how we're getting two sevens here. So we've got the seven of pentacles and the seven of swords. Ching, 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 okay? <laughs> so you guys, I feel like First of all, Capricorn, you'll know if this is you, right? And if not, then please just, like I said, only take what applies. But I see the Seven of Swords as someone who is not being honest, okay? Someone who is kind of being sneaky or deceptive, maybe even lying to themselves. This could definitely spell out a third-party situation. Now, if you look in the card, we have this woman walking, minding her business with her little fish balloon. And we have this guy over here kind of creeping, stalking. Okay. And, um, you know, Capricorn, you could very well be this woman with the fish balloon, right? Walking, just doing your thing, uh, living your life, doing what's best for you. And this person is strategizing a way to get closer to you. Okay. We've got the seven of pentacles with it. And I love how she's like a spider woman. Okay. I really love this deck, by the way, you guys, I don't know if you've noticed those of you who have followed me for a long time, but I'm always drawn to the Chuckly Tarot every holiday season. It gives me these like creepy, haunted Candyland Christmas time vibes. Um, but we've got little Spiderella over here, okay, in the Seven of Pentacles. I think this person could be perhaps caught in their own web in a sense, all right? They could be in a situation with someone else, in a marriage, a partnership, something that's sort of keeping them, um, keeping them from fully being in your energy or fully being present with you, okay? Now, the Seven of Pentacles is also a card of frustration and patience, waiting for things to come to fruition, uh, especially if you and this person have already sort of planted seeds of your own, yet they're still sort of kind of sneaking around or in a situation where, like I said, they're they're not being totally honest with you, I feel like this person is going to get caught in their own web, all right? That's kind of what I'm picking up on. If they haven't already done that, then... Um, then like I said, that could be what's coming here for December. This is their overall energy, okay? So let's get into what they're thinking, okay? What is what is this person thinking? Because if they're coming up as the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, I want to know, okay? I'm curious. So we have the Temperance card and also the Hermit. Yikes. So obviously, you know, this person is in a state of going within, all right? I, I see this card too as like their their higher self and their less evolved self, right? Their lower vibrational energy battling with their higher vibrational energy. This person could be in a state of silence right now, not really talking to you right now. Um, uh, and again, I feel like this person is really needing to go within at the time. Again, we're talking about the Seven of Pentacles as a card of patience, and we have the Temperance card, smackety-smack-smack. 
Again, patience, needing to wait for things to happen behind the scenes, having to trust that everything is going to work out the way that it's supposed to. Um, and again, I see this card too as like your prayers being answered. So Capricorn, if you're the one being patient for this person to come out of silence or come out of hermit mode, I feel like Spirit's reminding you to trust the process, okay? So I do think that um, this person is also kind of on that same page. They are trying to trust the process here. Here, but they recognize that now's a time for them to kind of go within, go in their little hermit cave, maybe kind of keep to themselves, especially if they have sort of gotten caught in their own little web over here. They might be very frustrated because they were continuing to try to build a foundation with you, Capricorn, but they still have some things that they need to take care of in another situation before they can be fully present with you. So that is what I'm seeing. What's in their heart space? How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about about this I'm getting like two at a time for every question I ask so we're just going with it <laughs> so how they're feeling is the the knight of wands and the king of swords so you, you could be connecting with a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a fire sign okay so I, I feel like, again, this is like a very contradictory energy. We've got this king over here writing a letter, all these papers flying around. And if you notice, the papers are actually turning into birds. And we have this horse kind of rearing up on its legs in the background, kind of reminding me a little bit of this knight of wands. So I feel this person, they, they need clarity right now this person needs to cut someone out of their life or um or again do something to find clarity in their situation this is also a card of like being cold or detached the king of swords is very much that way they tend to come across as you know someone who is not very emotional and uh, someone who is decisive, who knows what they want, who has an idea of what they need to do to get where they want to go. But deep in their heart, what they want to do is take a risk towards you. Okay. So you can see this little pig is flying and that could be very symbolic, right? Maybe there's this energy of impossibility that you're feeling in this connection sometimes where you're like okay is this ever going to happen and you know maybe it might be one of those scenarios where pigs need to fly in order for this person to cut someone else out of their life um, but I think this person recognizes that they need to get clear headed and they need to make a decision here they need to communicate clearly um, but again their desire deep down underneath it all is taking that risk it's passion it's pursuing it's acting impulsively okay that's what they really want to do um but again you know the knight of wands can definitely be falling following along with that storyline of a third party energy okay sometimes the knight of wands can be a cheater a player right somebody who goes after what they want regardless because they they don't want to commit they don't feel ready to commit so they keep their options open so I think that this person has a lot to think about okay and you know I think also like I said with it being in their heart space they already know where their heart wants to go but their heart can't go in the direction it wants to go until they address this other situation first Capricorn why do I feel like we always get the same sort of reading for you guys um their likely actions moving forward are the four of swords in the reverse. So this person might be trying to heal, okay? Trying to heal something or, you know, working on healing for themselves. But in the reverse, I see this person not willing to really surrender to the universe, okay? They're struggling. And um, even though they may want to heal something, I feel like it's something that can't be healed. So, you know their likely actions moving forward are going to be to to go through the motions I feel to try to heal something in this other scenario but they're still watching you they're still interested in you they're still uh being patient and they're frustrated because they can't pursue you the way that they want to okay let's clarify that four of swords in reverse 
Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, so even though they, they may try to heal this other thing, the, the energy of the lovers is here pulling them in the direction of, again, what their heart really desires. They are getting those signs and synchronicities from the universe, pulling them in your direction, Capricorn, and it's impossible for them to ignore. So, you know, again, we've got this logical... Um, pensive looking king of swords over here you know caught between wanting to do the right thing versus wanting to do the thing that they truly desire and there's this this contradiction that i see in all of these cards here so i think this person definitely needs to take the time to be in that hermit mode so they can get true clarity in their situation okay so what is the likely outcome here based on this energy the Eight of Swords, oh my goodness. So you guys, I feel like this person, and I love how they're holding the rabbit and wearing a rabbit costume at the same time. And for me, the rabbit symbolizes the divine feminine, like creativity and fertility, new beginnings and things of that nature, feminine energy. So I love how this individual is like holding on to the rabbit and they want to be the rabbit also. Okay. So I do feel that this person wants to be with you, Capricorn. They do. They want to, they're not going to let go of you because you know, they can't, okay. They can't let go of you. They keep being pulled in your direction. It's impossible for them to, to cut you off. They don't want to do that. But the eight of swords is someone who's really trapped in a mental prison. Okay. That's really what it is. This person feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. They are huddling in with, with what it is that they love because they don't want to let it go, but surrounding them is darkness. Okay. So I think this person is afraid. I think they have a lot of fear and anxiety about how to move forward. Um, let's get one more card for the likely outcome here. It could be a while before this person comes out of that state of, uh, of again, fear and anxiety. So, you know, for some of you, this could be anywhere from eight days to eight weeks to hopefully not eight months, but that could be that long for some of you, okay? Um, but I, I do think this person is going to remain stuck for a while, but what comes after that is the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, I do think that it's promising. I do think that this person definitely sees the opportunity to have something prosperous and and strong and, and something that will really grow into something real with you. I do see this as a proposal, a gift, or an offer in the physical. But again, it's an opportunity. I almost feel like this person is stuck, but what they really want to do is is be with you and propose to you. Have a new beginning, okay? Um but like any ace, it's an opportunity to be grasped. It's something that they have to take action on. So like I said, this person is sort of torn right now. They're kind of in the in-between. But one thing you can bank on, Capricorn, is that they are always being magnetized back to you. They're always thinking of you. They're holding on to the thought of creating a life with you. Um and making you this offer in the physical. So I feel like we've already discussed this person's challenges, but what is the challenge overall? The Ten of Wands. So they have a lot of responsibilities happening right now and burdens that they're carrying in their life. Um, I mean, look at this little girl over here walking her pet beetle, okay? I, I feel like there's this energy that surrounds this person that makes it impossible for them to, to do what they want to do, okay? This could be a family situation, a home life. Um, you can see that they built a little homestead here out of vegetables and fruits. Like, this could be very symbolic for some of you out there, but I feel like Above all else, this person wants to release this burden. They want to have a release from that scenario that they're in so that they can have this new beginning, okay? Anything else we need to see about this person? Yeah. So you guys, they're getting they're getting the horn tooted in their little faces, okay? Because we've got the devil card next to the judgment card. So I think this person is getting the message from their higher self that it's time for them to to 
get rid of or remove themselves from any toxic situations. I also feel like this relates to an obsession that this person has with you, Capricorn, and you know, the devil is your energy after all. But I do feel that this person is sort of obsessed with you. They can't let go of you. There is some sort of attachment that they have to you. And isn't that what the lovers is? It's pretty much the devil, okay? Except... The lovers is a test. Will you choose love or will you choose whatever else, right? The toxicity, the codependency. Um, and I think that this person has done that for so long already. And that's why the judgment card is popping up with it. I think this person is going to be getting a rude awakening from spirit um, when this situation that they can't release themselves from just keeps coming back and back and back again. Nothing they do or try to do is ever going to heal it because it still remains. It's not going to just go away. You can't heal a toxic connection. Okay, you have to separate yourself from that. Otherwise, you're just going to let it fester and become worse and worse and worse. All right, and I know people can change. I believe that. But in these sort of dynamics of, again, toxicity, codependency, you know, the, it's it's very hard to break free from that sort of vibe and then circle back around and things be actually good. Like, it's very rare that I'll hear of someone getting back together with an ex that was toxic and then, oh, everything's fine this time. Usually those same patterns and those same sort of scenarios tend to resurface after a time. And, you know, especially with a lot of uh, people out there who have narcissistic personality disorder and exhibit narcissistic traits, you know, they they want to change, they say they're they're going to change, but the mask always ends up slipping, okay? So going back to the four of swords in reverse, I think this person does want to heal it because in their mind, their logical mind, they think it's the right thing to do, but at the end of the day, they're just going to get the same bullshit regurgitated back to them that they always do and spirit is sort of telling this person with this little white rabbit holding the key you're the only one with the key to your future okay you cannot let this devil dictate the future for you or keep you stuck in a pattern that you've already been wise to okay this person has already seen the truth of the of the person or the individuals they're surrounding themselves with with this ton of so um uh, Ten of Swords. Oh, I said that for a reason, obviously. Ten of Wands scenario, okay? Burdensome, tiresome, exhausting, right? So Ten of Swords, I accidentally said that. That's what Spirit, I think, is calling for this person to do. End it, okay? End it for good, once and for all. Um, otherwise, this person is going to end up at rock bottom because they're going to keep putting themselves back in that same scenario, which is draining them and draining them and draining them until there's nothing left, okay? So judgment is a resurrection. It's something coming back around from the past. And what do you know, y'all? We are in Mercury retroshade already, so don't be surprised if this person is not talking to you so they can try to solve something else with an X or whatever else but I will say this the card that was just poking out of the side of the deck here is the Knight of Swords so more of that uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy I do feel that this person is going to eventually be honest they're not going to be able to hold back their true thoughts and feelings forever and I think you know this person's going to be pushed to a breaking point where they end up just saying what they need to say and getting it all out there. Even if it hurts this other person or hurts somebody else, they, they're they going to have to get it off their chest, okay? It's brewing, it's brimming, and it's, it's not good to hold all of that in. And you know what? We saw that in the King of Swords card, right? They're writing all the letters and the letters are turning into birds. And here she is riding on the bird, okay, with the candy cane probably... <laughs> <laughs> probably licked into a freaking knife, okay? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you get a candy cane and you make the end really pointy, <laughs> like a weapon. All right, so that that's what I'm feeling. I think this person is going to end up um, speaking their mind, and uh, it's not going to be pretty. All right, I think this person's going to be very blunt with what they have to say, even if it um, comes across rude, whatever, they don't care, okay? So I think this person is eventually going to take the signs from the universe and they're going to take them seriously and they recognize what they need to do, okay? So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Let's go ahead and get a few messages from this person. What do they want to say to you? 
the future. So I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. So going back to the Knight of Wands, that is what the Knight of Wands is. Adventurous, okay? Impulsive. They want to go off and have fun with you, okay? We have still listening. I listen to the music you've shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. So... Not just music, you guys, but we did see the hermit. So again, maybe this person isn't talking to you, but they're still listening to what you have to say. Okay, maybe you've had some important conversations with this person, and I think they're definitely taking those conversations to heart. They're thinking about them, okay? What else? Let's get a couple more messages here for Capricorns, please. We have jealousy. I am very jealous. I can barely stand it. So I'm thinking of that card where the woman was just minding her own business, walking with her fish balloon, and he's over there watching her from behind the corner. I think this person, you know, yeah, they have to go off and handle their own business, but in the meantime, they could possibly be worried maybe that you will find someone else or that there will be someone else that will come in and treat you the way that you deserve without having to make you wait around for them to solve issues in their life. Okay, there could be just just a trait that they have very jealous um, and again, not wanting you to be around other people. But if this person is feeling like that, then they need to do something about it. Okay, and we've got it's really simple. How do I feel? I want you us forever. So it's really simple, you guys. It really is. This person definitely wants to be with you. They want a future with you, but they have to take care of this other situation first. I don't know how many times I've done this exact reading for you guys, but for those of you who resonate with it, please don't forget to like the video, comment, send me a message. If you want to dive deep into your personal situation and get more clarity on this, then feel free to book a personal reading with me at 50% off down in the description box below. Other than that, Cappy Caps, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season and I will see you again very soon. Bye.